Greetings YouTube, it's Saturday and the job for today is to take this down. My son's just come over, take the turbine down and uh, find out why it's not starting. Uh, I did try moving a little bit then but I'm guessing the wind's about 12 mile an hour and that should be enough to get it shifting. There's always the possibility of putting those other blades on if I can't find another problem then I will do that. Obviously it looks a lot nicer with just those three on but it doesn't matter how nice it looks, if it isn't making enough juice then it's got to be sorted so we'll crack on with that. This homemade drill attachment is so handy. Unfortunately, you have to let these loose, otherwise, they'll go mega tight as the towers come down. That's a job for another time sorting that. See this bar here? This is basically the pivot. This is basically the pivot for the cable, and it connects to the gym pole there. Let me try to turn brightness up a touch. The problem with this is, because this bar's at a very slight lean up on the right hand side, what happens as the wire comes through, it's constantly pulling this bar out that way. So I'm going to knock that in. And then what I'm going to do, I've got one of these collars which is the wrong size. Uh, but it'll fit and as long as we do that bolt through then that will stop the bar from moving at all So there that's on the end. So that should stop it uh, coming off at all It only goes one way. So there's not even any point having one on the other end uh, which you'll see as the uh, Turbine goes down the bolt may try and move around and lock uh, which will mean that isn't rolling around anyway So we'll see won't we so those cables have been loosened and uh, We've checked this Everything else is good to go, so that means it's uh, it can be taken down. Now, so my son's gonna do the winch nice and slow. It'll take about three minutes, all in total. See, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna film this bit to start with. Just wanna see if you can hear the creaking sound as it moves around. No. I mean when it's moving from left to right it makes a creaking sound because I've got the uh, I've got the frame plate actually touching the top of the tower uh, for extra stability but it does make a bit of a squeaking noise but anyway we'll crack on what we'll do we'll focus on this a second while we start uh, taking it down This thing's a beast. I just wanted to show you how big it was.
I was hoping to see one of those wires loose, but no, that's a weird thing to say, but that would explain the power or lack of potentially. One thing that has to be done is that the wire that runs to the shed, my son's going to bring that, uh, we're going to disconnect it at the rectifier, going to bring the, the whole cable over here and then we can do a, take the motor out and do a test on one connector of this along with one connector at the end of the cable. Uh, so, turning wise, oh, let me turn the brightness down. Turning wise, it feels pretty good, so I just don't know why it's not getting started. Another thing, really, that's going to have to be done is the angle. The angle there, that has to be made uh, greater. Because firstly, I think because the tower's fairly low, it'll pick the wind up a bit better if there's a greater gap here. And also this, this was the bodge with regards to the blade. Blades were coming into contact with uh, the wire on the rear. So I had to hold it in using a grinder uh, handle. That nut's done up pretty hardcore. I remember I, mo I had moved this down to avoid that problem, but it wasn't enough. But the combination of it not spinning properly and that means really we have to tackle this and the problem there is these have to come off uh, and adjusted because you can see I welded a 10 mil washer <coughs> on there, a, a thick one. So that means at that end that washer will have to be cut off and moved down a notch and we'll have to deal with it how we can. I don't think the chain being really loose has anything to do with the poor performance because once it gets going, it gets going. Uh, so yeah, but that's down, excuse me, but that's down and they, there is stuff to be investigated. I have to be honest, I would not hesitate to put those extra blades on here if I think that's the problem because if I can turn it with my weak ass hand, then it should be going round easier. I mean, we could try tightening up the chain, that'd be one thing, but I found having the chain tight actually makes it harder to turn. You can see the, as I move the blade, uh, you'll see one bit of the chain tighten up and loosen the bottom bit. Look. So when it's driving, that the bottom bit that you can see is always tight and the other bit is always loose. See? But yeah, as I said, I was hoping to see one of these phase wires hanging out of the connector. Uh, but I did do, <clears throat> excuse me, I did do them pretty tight so that that wouldn't be an issue. So anyways, that's it down, that's it down for now. And uh, we'll crack on and see if we can get to the bottom of what the problem is. Because I do want it to work in 10 mile an hour winds. Let's talk about the gear ratio a minute because to try, if we were to try and sort out the power problem by putting the bigger gear on, then the lack of startup will become worse. So that, the first thing really, I guess, is to find out why it isn't starting up easily in this gear, like I hoped it would, and then we'll take it from there. Sweet. That's basically the problem. Doo-doo wire. And the other thing that doesn't help is this cable is in about eight bits. So you can see my son drags the end of the cable over. Ah, oh, well that explains the problem, I'm gonna shut up. So these cables were loose, but they may have come undone when my son dragged it over. So I'm just going to reconnect them and I've got a multimeter to test the uh, connectivity. Right, so I'm not sure what the exact problem is, but I've been checking it using the that feature. And I think I may have sorted uh, the problem out because this one wasn't reading at first, which was the yellow. This is the cable that normally sits right by the rectifier. So if we hit the gray, Yeah, see, we're not getting anything now. I see we're getting something off. We're getting a reading off that. But it's touch and go on the inside of the connectors. So uh, I'm going to test them all. The others seem okay. And then if it looks as though when I've cleaned out the inside of the connectors, that it's all they've got continuity then. Uh, really the only thing I can do is put the uh, other blades on because this problem won't have stopped it spinning, I don't think. 
uh, and that is obviously the other major problem. So I'm going to clean up all the inside of these connectors and then check the continuity again. And if the continuity says it's fine, then we'll drag this back to the shed, plug it in, stick the other blade hub on and uh, stick it up in the air again. That's the idea. But this won't have stopped it spinning, but it may well have impeded the power output quite a lot. So I'll crack on with that. Cheers. So I've got those soaking in WD-40 and basically we'll file out the insides to clean them up and then I'll put them back on and we'll see what's going on. 